Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for checking out this video. So we are still on the basic tools that we use in Adobe Photoshop. The last time I talked about the move tool straight down to the crop tool. This time around I'm going to continue with the eyedropper tool to about maybe um, this history brush tool. Alright, so let me go ahead and open a new document. I have this picture over here. So I'll open it. We've already learned how to open new documents or new pictures in Photoshop. So you can check out that video if you missed it out. Alright, so I have this picture right over here. Now, what this eyedropper tool does basically is that if you select the eyedropper tool and you left click on any part of the document, it samples the color available there. Let's check something here. This is the foreground color of the document that we are using right now and the color is set to black I pick my eyedropper tool I'll go here any part of the document and I will left click so it samples the color for me so maybe you want a particular color in an in a document you can go ahead and you sample it so if I left click here it samples the yellow for me that is what the eyedropper tool basically does so if you if you are in need of a color and you have it in your documents you don't know how to sample it out you can just use the eyedropper tool and then it will fix things for you let me go ahead and talk about this spot healing brush tool the healing brush tool and the patch tool i want to talk about these two over here so let me select the spot healing brush tool if i zoom into my picture right now you can see that i have some tiny little spots on my face and this spot healing brush tool allows you to clear of that pimples or whatever on your face so you can see that I have this pimple over here I'll just left click and then it will take it off so if you have some pimples on your face very tiny ones to be precise so you can use this one to clean them off and it's as simple as that but if you want to know how to clean off real pimples like you you make your face so smooth I have a video on that you can go ahead and check it on my youtube all right so let me pick the healing brush tool the healing brush tool basically does the same way just like the spot healing brush tool does but here unlike the spot healing brush tool where if you left click it will just clean it off for you let's check something here if i left click right now it will tell me to hold alt and click to define a source point that is to say that unlike the spot healing brush tool in this case you will have to hold out and sample a color from here so if I sample a color from this side this is the color that I'm going to use to replace this one you can see that it is very simple so you sample a color and then you can use it to clean that particular pimple or anything over there now the last thing is the patch tool it all works the same way but this one just like we're using the Luxo tool and other stuff, you have to make a selection like this. And then when you drag it, it will create a content aware for you. So you can see that. You can see the difference from here. Yes, that's how it also works. So it's as simple as that, just like that. So let me go ahead and talk about the brush tool. Brushing simply means you are going to use it to brush anything beneath a, a picture or anything like that so the brush tool when you take it you can right click and see the properties you can change the size you see the size has changed it has been bigger you can change how you want it to work if i brush now it is going to brush very deep for me but if i change the hardness to about zero percent it is going to be it is going to fade you see that so that is how it works we have some other brushes over here you can also download and add samples brushes if you download a brush you just load it and it will load into photoshop for you that is how the brush also works so as time goes on we'll be making use of the brushes and other stuff all right so let me talk about the clone tool also cloning simply means that you're making a duplicate of a part of your documents that is to say that if i place my clone tool over here 
I'll hold alt and then I'll define a source just like we did with the, uh, the sport healing brush too or the healing brush too one of them so you hold alt and then you define a source so if I define a source like this and I left click I can come and place it here and I've cloned my eye onto my cheek pretty simple right so you can go ahead and try that with a clone too now the last thing I'm talking about for the day is the history brush too it just worked like the brush too but this time around let's check something here you can see I'm I've taken the history brush tool and I'm brushing but you can't see when I undo you can see the difference right you can spot the difference here I don't know if you are able to see it but that is how the history brush tool is used people don't often use it although maybe you are going to try using it so that will be all for now I don't want to keep this tutorial very long and boring so I'm doing it in series um, leave your comments and suggestions on in the comment box below and then I'm going to answer all the questions that you you ask so thanks so much for watching this tutorial I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.